Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In this week's video I will tell you about all of the latest news and updates that have been made across different Zoho apps. Before I begin this video, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the notification button not to miss any useful information that we share here. So obviously Zoho makes updates all the time, so without further ado, we will start off this video obviously with the core of every business, Zoho CRM. In Zoho CRM, there is a new feature of cross-screen field support, so now you can set up conditions that pull information from previous screens and apply them as you move forward. They also added a new back button for easier navigation. They also introduced a criteria-based data exposure, so admins can now define two types of criteria to expose other records with a particular trait in the module, match with fields and match with values. There's also an enhancement on tags, and now you can append new tags to existing ones on import. There's also a new exciting feature in Zoho CRM forecasts. You now have the ability to predict each deal's likelihood to succeed or fail. Also with the new update in Zoho CRM, you can now add, edit and remove rows directly from the details page. And Zoho introduced filter sort and clone options to make managing your data even more easier. Zoho also announced a kiosk 1.1. You can now customize screen titles, configure new fields and actions like the fields of percentage, your rel and decimal, use values from your kiosk to update the fields and also use a new merge field function. Also with new email enhancements, you can now set organization level permissions that govern access to emails sent from within Zoho CRM. Also, we got some great news that Zoho CRM now has a native integration with WorkDrive so you can see all of your files stored within Zoho CRM with this integration. And also Zoho CRM introduced a new quick view filter that comes with the ability to add about five filter criteria to processed report. It lists all fields from the participating modules in the following types, date, date time, checkbox, user lookup, pick list, and multi pick list. As you can see, there have been a lot of updates in Zoho CRM. And now let's move on to other sales apps. Starting off from Zoho Begin that introduced Begin 360, the new pricing edition with increased feature limits and pre-installed toppings. The new plan will start at $18 per user per month, billed annually, or $21 per user per month, billed monthly. New plan offers a storage of 1 million records and a maximum of 15 pipelines, up to a thousand mass emails per day, 50 custom fields per module and 50 text per module, up to 100 automation rules, up to 50 customized dashboards, 10 forms and up to 20 customized user roles. Also Zoho Begin now has an integration with Zoho Projects and once you close the deal in Begin, you can create a project in Zoho Projects for that client directly from the deals record in Begin. Let's move on to Zoho Sales IQ that introduced a cool feature of creating and saving templates or message layouts that you can now easily insert into your WhatsApp conversations. Sales IQ also introduced a very cool feature, Azure AI Translator, so now you can easily translate all of your conversations with clients within Zoho Sales IQ. It's time to move on to marketing apps and see what updates have been made there. Starting off from Zoho campaigns that introduced a very useful feature, a bot filtering for accurate analytics of your performance of the campaigns. Moving on to the updates in Zoho Social. Now you can add a call button to your Google business profile posts, add a custom domain in Zoho Social to shorten long URLs, making them precise and personalized to your brand, schedule bulk posts to support the networks from the revamped UI and also add longer posts to your X premium account. Moving on to the updates in Zoho Backstage. They released an API guide for this app. Also, Zoho Backstage is now compliant with goods and service stocks in India. They added two new payment methods for Stripe, Apple Pay and Bank Contact and introduced a new feature of companion tickets that allows attendees to register additional guests such as friends, family or colleagues. And now let's move on to finance apps within Zoho ecosystem. Let's start off from the updates in Zoho Books. Now you can attach X Rechnung to invoices in Germany edition, extend the validity period of e-way bills in India edition, validate VAT in Germany edition, manage your income TDS rates in India edition, associate multiple criteria for workflows, write off customer opening balance, auto-populate customer or vendor details in India edition, bulk export invoices as a zip file, 
import or export custom modules, associate an applicable period for TDS taxes in India edition, use a minimized view for web tabs, assign a company ID to your customers and vendors in global edition, integrate your Zoho Books organization with Envia, search manual journals by customers or vendors, customize workflow triggers, use Zoho Books in South Africa or Kenya, use text for purchases transactions in US edition, use extension settings in Zoho Books developer portal, enhance your keyboard navigation with new menu, branch specific value differences in journals, set criteria for custom buttons, print or download e-way bills in India edition, bulk download e-invoices in GSON format in India edition, and import vendor credit notes in India edition. Moving on to the updates in Zoho Inventory. Zoho Inventory was introduced in South Africa and they made an integration for the courier guy. Zoho Inventory also made some cool features, for example, bin locations, stock counts, enhanced barcode templates, also the enhanced keyboard navigation within Zoho Inventory and the ability to bulk download e-invoices in GSON format. Now let's talk about the service apps and see what news and updates did they get. Starting off from Zoho Desk, they announced that Blueprint transitions are now compatible with instant messaging tickets. They also announced a new AI-based Zia Answer bots for customers, for agents, and also training Answer bot. In Zoho Desk, you can now also organize your knowledge base articles in a custom order. There are also a lot of updates in Zoho Desk's instant messaging. It now supports Facebook Messenger and Instagram and has a widget for business messaging. It now has a multi-waba support and in-depth insights sites for WhatsApp integration, you now have an option to create a complete guided conversations custom bot flow that works across multiple channels. You can now set business hours for your support teams, configure web hooks in instant messaging, promote your business with replies via WhatsApp app, also send a WhatsApp message to contact using quick action, automate ticket actions via Blueprint, and monitor customer happiness ratings across all of the instant messaging channels. And within Zoho Desk, you can now move tickets to a specific layout within a department using macros. Moving on to Zoho FSM, where you can now use a feature of comprehensive job sheets. Also, Zoha FSM announced the ability to customize the 20 of the standard reports that are available within Zoha FSM. You can clone them and customize them to the needs of your business. And they also announced a new payments module that allows you to record all of the received payments. Now let's talk about the updates of analytics and project management apps. Starting off from Zoho Analytics that announced a new version of this app, Zoho Analytics 6.0. There is a lot of new data connectors and a lot of new features such as sync history, audit history, undo import, data pipelines, multiple schedule intervals for tables, stream data processing, data bucketing, dynamic image and URLs, unified metrics and real-time data sync for Zoho CRM. There is a lot of new chart types such as Sankey chart, racing chart, charts, spark lines, geomap layering, sunburst charts, conversion bar charts, and tree map. There is also some interactive chart customization and chart creation as API. Some dashboard enhancements include adding elements in dashboard, enhanced seams and backgrounds, changing data functions based on time slicer, customizing the widths of dashboard designer area, and some widget enhancements. Analytics are now infused with generative AI with features like diagnostics insights, Visual Zia Insights, Configurable Insights, Complex Queries, Enhancements in OpenAI Integrations, Ask Zia Bot in Microsoft Teams, Auto Analyze Feature 2.0 and Zia Suggestions. There's also new predictive AI features like anomaly detection, influencing factors in forecasting or cluster analysis. There are also some new platform extensibility features like linked workspaces, custom connectors, Zoho Flow in alerts, client SDK, and also BI Fabric. Moving on to Zoho Data Prep that announced also a new version 2.0. Now it has a visual pipeline builder. You can build complex pipelines with ease. Ask Zia, your new AI assistant for data prep. You can now save times with reusable pipelines and pre-built pipeline templates. There is a real-time monitoring dashboard. You can keep track of everything. You can also orchestrate data workflows with Zoho Flow and webhooks. 
And the last app in this video is our project and it now has a new feature of global web tabs that can help you to navigate this app much better. As you can see, Zoho has put so much effort into updating and perfecting the apps within the ecosystem. And I really hope that this video will help you to stay updated. If you want to stay updated with all of the Zoho news and updates, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the notification button because we regularly prepare videos like this to keep you guys updated so you know about new features and you can use them within your company to work even more productively. Also, if you're interested in any of the Zoho apps, their implementation, integration, or other services that we could provide as Zoho partners to you, please book a free consultation. I will leave the link down below in the description box. It's completely free. We will answer all of your questions. And if you want to work with us, we'll provide an accurate project estimate within a very limited and short period of time. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave your feedback in the comments down below to this video. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments down below too. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and I will see you in the next week's video.